Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. Today's topic is, when did humans learn to talk? In the prior video, Why We Walk on Two Legs, I discussed my hypothesis of how our ancestors began walking on two legs. In today's video, I will discuss my hypothesis about when our ancestors began to talk. My hypothesis is the ability to speak language is a byproduct of walking on two legs. Understanding human language occurs before the ability to speak it. Here's my evidence. Kanzi, a bonobo chimpanzee, and his sister, Pam Benicia, were raised in a chimp-human environment. They understand English and can communicate in English via symbols on an electronic keyboard. However, they cannot speak English, although they can make a variety of sounds such as pant hoots to communicate with each other. Nine-month-old human babies understand what is said to them. They can understand the sounds of different languages at six months. However, they cannot speak as we do, although they can make a variety of sounds such as da da, ba ba, mama that communicate to their family. Those outside the family will not know what Baba means to the baby, but the baby's family will know. Human language can be understood by bonobos and human babies. How does this relate to walking on two legs? Well, a bonobo walks on all fours, a human baby crawls or creeps on all fours. A chimp's bonobo's larynx is positioned high in the throat, allowing it to breathe and drink at the same time. A human baby's larynx is positioned high in the throat, allowing it to breathe and drink or nurse at the same time. An adult human larynx is positioned lower in the throat. Trying to breathe and drink at the same time leads to choking and coughing. A chimp bonobo and a human infant cannot speak as adult humans do. When a human baby begins to crawl, the larynx begins to drop. By the time a human toddler is walking all the time, usually between 18 and 24 months, the larynx has dropped into the adult human position. The toddler can now speak and be understood by strangers. Watch the Deb Roy video clip in the description box below to hear how over a period of months, his son changed from saying gaga for water to around 18 months saying water. As stated in my prior video, humans began walking four to five million years ago. My deductions? As our adult ancestors transitioned from walking on all fours to walking on two legs, the larynx dropped four to five million years ago. Does this mean our earliest ancestors talked as we do? Probably not, since their brains were still close to chimp size, although larger. However, by two million years ago, our ancestors, such as the Chicano boy who died when he was 11, looked very much like we do, and their brains were in the low end of the modern human range. Based on archeological evidence, he and his people had a sophisticated culture. Therefore, my hypothesis is that the Chicano boy had sophisticated language. In conclusion, our ability to speak is a byproduct of walking on two legs. We have been speaking sophisticated languages for millions of years. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.